There was a time in cattle farming when you just turned animals loose to eat whatever was green and growing in a field. Today, a good beef producer knows better than that. The predominant forage for most cattle in our state is Kentucky 31 fescue. In this era of quality grass-fed beef, nutrition is key in forage production, and not just in the mild weather months. To get the nutrition that the cattle need and get uh, uh, maximum production from the herd, yeah, we need good nutrition there all year long. Barry Sims helps lead a forage project at UT's Highland Rim Ag Research Center in Robertson County. They're growing two fields side by side, one in Indian grass and big blue stem grass, and the other in switchgrass. Both are excellent forages for cattle. There's a perennial plant, a, a massive root system down in the soil, so it's like it's booster rockets under it to, to make it grow fast, so it's a fast growing uh, plant. Sure, things look great now with mild temperatures and plenty of rain, but the brutal heat and dry weather of summer is coming soon. UT Ag researchers want forages that are high yielding, but also heat and drought tolerant. But the reality is what you are, you're a grass farmer, and the way you're selling that grass is through that animal. UT's Dr. Pat Kaiser says cool season grasses like the Kentucky 31 fescue go dormant as the days get hotter. But the blue stem and switch grass can be grown during summer's roughest patches. Not only that, but these warm season grasses are high in nutritional value and producers want to feed good hay to hungry cattle for maintaining animal performance and weight gain. We're seeing gains on blue stem of two to two and a half pounds a day during hot, dry summer conditions on steers, and a comparable number for steers on switchgrass is about 1.8 to two pounds a day. By comparison, it's less than one pound a day for fescue during that time of year. This study will go on at least two more years, but researchers believe these fields already prove that on a hot, dry day, you can still grow excellent forage. This is Chuck Denny reporting.